All right, so now I'm outside. This will be the third attempt. The last two, I'll probably show clips real quick. Uh, they bounced outside, or I threw them, of course, outside of the range of the camera. So I'm going to try to take a step back and uh, throw it down again. This is the one with the ammonia nitrate paper, the uh, match head mix to ignite it. It's about 18 grams, so it's actually considerably better, bigger than the last one that I made. And even though it's wet out, it's wrapped in electrical tape. Also the potassium nitrate and sugar mix for the smoke. So here, we'll get back. That'll work, right? Whew, I want to add a nice kick to it compared to the other ones. It sucks it's a little breezy out, or else you would have been able to see kind of how much it, it filled up my garage last night when I did it. Well, anyways, uh, my name is James Stagg, and this is Tech This Out Meow. Hopefully, you found this educational uh, on many different types of smoke bombs you can make, or at least the different ingredients to alter some of the stuff. The ammonia nitrate paper really did it increase the smoke, and it kind of smolders afterwards. Maybe that's not what you're looking for, and then you want to go maybe towards a flash paper, just using the flash paper. I actually used a little bit of that wadding down in there, just pure flash paper. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, next video will be on HDP and nylon paracord bulletproof plates. All right, tech this out now, or well, meow.